Well, I'm out here again, boys and girls, at the uh, at this Victorian dump. And this is the hole that we were in last time. Um, the last video where we uh, we had some cave-ins there. So uh, before we left last time, we uh, caved the sides in and filled it in a bit. And uh, I'm just starting a fresh hole just off to the side of it, but. Uh, as I'm doing that, I'm just backfilling into this area so we can just sort of level it out a little bit. But uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm just uh, leveling off here at the moment and I'll get this new hole started and we'll see what pops out. All right, well, uh, I'll see you when we get anything. Back soon. Well, I've no idea what that is. It's red at one end, it's white and it's got some patterning on it, a very simple patterning some bands top and bottom right let me dig it and, uh, and we'll see what it is well there we are I've just scraped away and it's loose now so let's have a look oh it's very very red on the bottom oh that's nice oh no, that's a jar it's a sealed jar ah, interesting all right let me uh, Let's see if we can get this open. See if there's anything inside it. Hang on, two seconds, guys. And gals. Well, there you go. That's what's inside it. It looks like the leftovers of some sort of face cream type stuff. Ugh. There you go. Still strange to find it with a cap. The cap's plastic. Obviously, that's going to last forever and it's quite new, so I'm not going to take that. I'll bury that back in here. All right, onwards and downwards. Well, I've just hit, and quite literally hit, my first bottle. I hit it a couple of times with the shovel. Um, I suspect it's broken. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, there you go. So there's a broken piece anyway. Throw that into a hole. Get that covered over when, once it's levelled out. All right, on we go. Well, there you go, boys and girls. That. Uh, that I suspect with a little man and a lady in uh, probably 16, 1700s dress, maybe late 1700s dress, uh, would have been a nice little, uh, nice little piece to to dig out of there. So uh, anyway, we'll carry on and we'll see what we can get. I don't think you can see that very well. But there you go. Right, there's the next one. <coughs> See that there, boys and girls. Right, let me get it out. We'll see if it's whole, and uh, we'll see if it's got anything embossed on it. All right, back in just one moment. Well, there you are. It's uh, plain as the day it was made. Although I do think there's some age to it. You can see like the mould lines on this. One, two, three-piece mould by the looks of it. <clears throat> and. Uh, Looks like the top's been applied there. It's quite uh, crude and extra bit of glass around the bottom there. So that that to me signifies it's got some age. Pontal mark on the bottom. So uh, well, we'll see what comes out next. All right, stay with us. Well, now then, now then. So I'm just widening up this hole. There's a bit of cap here, and I've just uh, knocked down a bit of the cap. And what's sitting there? It looks like a big stoneware. Let's see A if it's whole and B if there's anything on it. So if you hang tight, boys and girls, and I will see if I can get this out in one piece. Back shortly. Well there we go. And it looks like it's all in one piece. Don't have one of these yet. I think this is what's called uh, a bulk ink. So basically it was a big pot of ink that would be purchased and then poured into uh, into ink wells, you know, shared out sort of thing. I'm just looking to see if there's any maker's mark on it anywhere, but I can't see one. Quite often these are these are plain, but no, I'm happy with that today. Yeah, that's all good stuff. Salt glazed. Lovely. First one of those I found in one piece. Alright, back on the next one. 
and just below where that stone was which was just there there's a bottle and it does have something embossed on it so so let me see if I can get this out and I shall come back to you and it's embossed on the bottom H and B so it's Hunter and Benny please let this be whole please let this be whole for me all right hang tight no nope, too good to be true Hunter and Benny H and B embossed on the base that's really really nice it's rare you see them embossed like that on the base but there you go Carlisle that would have been a lovely find Oh well, on to the next one. Right, I have a little pile of stuff here. So I have a bottle here, a screw top. I think that's going to be a Melons baby food. I've got what looks like a, a stoneware there. And there's a bottle underneath it, probably a plain, a plain Jane. And a big broken stoneware just there. So maybe I'm just hitting into a little seam here. Of stuff, well, we'll find out. I'll come back to you once I've got it out. So there we go. I was right, there's a... Melons Food Limited. They made uh, baby food. Um, two ounce bovril. They're nice little things once they're cleaned up. Nice colour on them. Nice uh, light amber colour. And one of these little uh, clay stoneware pots. Um, a little hint I'll give to uh, anybody that's digging these. Um, always turn them over because um, I found this the other day. This one's actually embossed on the un underside. I don't know if you can read that. Um, I'll get a better picture at home, but it says Needham's Polishing Paste, Pickering and, and Sons Limited, Sheffield. So, uh, so it's always worthwhile just having a look on the base of these things, because um, I got one of those there the other day, and I flipped it over. Like I say, uh, it didn't stand out as much as this one, but uh, but no, that's a nice little thing. So, so yeah, not bad for that little spill there, or that little collection of things. I'll well, carry on. Well that right there is the unmistakable shape of a cod bottle. Now let's see if this is whole. Okay, hang tight and I'll get this out. Well the little sods, they've had the top off it. Oh dearie me. J.W. Trotter. Oh my god, of Dumbarton. Oh no, of Partick. Oh, it's got oh, somebody on a horse, a lady on a horse leaping over a fence. J.W. Trotter trademark. Oh god almighty. Oh well. It's a shame, but what can you do? Of Partick. That would have been a rare bottle, I think. Oh well. I'll carry on. I think I might have something else here. Let me just have a, let's just have a quick look. <coughs> Where that was? There's something else. There's another. No, it's a piece of broken glass. Never mind. All right, back soon. Okay, here's the next one. Let's see. See if this is. No, it's broken. I can feel it there. Oh well. Right, I'll carry on. Right, I'm sure you can see that as well as I can. That to me looks like a flagon. Whether it's in one piece or not, we're about to find out. Okay, hang tight. Looks like there's a wee pot be below it as well. All right, let's see. Well, uh, boys and girls, that's the hole where it was. And there it is. It's had the top broken off though. That is. Oh. Oh. Ivanhoe old scotch whiskey oh oh my god right well I'm gonna keep that anyway oh <laughs> no 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 oh god that is the most beautiful thing I've ever found oh. and it's broken I'm gonna dig in through the soil here where it was I'm gonna see if I can find the neck so if I can get it, uh, if I can get the neck and get it repaired, I'll be a happy bunny. Oh, Ivanhoe Old Scotch Whiskey. How's about that then, boys and girls? Oh, there's a there's a mark, a maker's mark on the bottom as well. Right. Okay. Let me see if I can find the rest of it. Oh, please let it be there. Right, well, after that heartbreaker over there, 
like I say I'm going to hang on to it I might be able to get that repaired or I might be able to fix it up somehow but, uh, <coughs> there's the next one there we go probably an AG bar but we'll get it out and we'll have a look alright back shortly well there we go and it's not an AG bar let's have a look at what this is Ooh. now then James Horn and Co of Glasgow and South Yorkshire Ooh, it's got bull's horns on it that's quite cool <laughs> established 1887 oh now that's a nice bottle yeah well there's one there's a keeper for us oh happy days I like that two sets of bull's horns on there, can't read, or trademark, that's the trademark then but uh, yeah, James Horn and Co South Yorkshire and Glasgow, lovely well there you go well, there we go there's a clay marble just just in the wall there just caught that out corner of my eye there we go Always happy to find them. Cool. Well, there's a big old teapot. I think it's a, it's a metal one, is that? I'll try and get that out of the way. <coughs> well, there you go. There's a teapot. There's a spout that fell off. There's the teapot. Well, there's a pipe bowl and. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can extract this, see if it's whole. Uh, I've just been caving in a bit of the, the sides here, so I have a fair bit to move, but uh, let's we'll see if we can get this out. Bear with me. Okay, well, it's uh, it's on its way out, so let me see if I can... Just very, very gently. Oh, it's very, very thin. Ah, oh, no, the end's gone off it. Oh, that's, uh, that's quite an old pipe, is that, though, I think? a little uh, foot on it there oh well shame but uh, there you go that's the way it is all right we'll carry on well there's my next one there and uh, the uh, big foot digger's just turned up um, he's away to his car to get his stuff uh, so uh, so yeah let's uh, let's get this one out and we'll have a look at it well there you go, uh, boys and girls, it was a, it was a plain Jane, still got the cork in it, next broken but it's still got the cork in so, uh, but uh, no that's not one for us, we'll leave that. And I just pulled this out and I think my heart's just been broken again, let's have a look, yep, oh god, oh it's the same, it's the same one as Norman got at the Bigfoot digger, the two guys uh, Toasting each other. 18, 18, 15. Had the whiskey. Oh. oh, would you look at that? I might keep that because that looks quite nice just on its own. Oh, God. Right, back in a bit. Well, I just hit the bottom of this. And, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, now then. Oh, how's about that? I've not seen one of them before. Oh, that's a nice thing. Ooh, very pretty. Pontal mark on the bottom. Cork top, so it's got some age. Yeah, I'll hang on to that. Very nice. Well, there we go. There's uh, the light on you. There's two more. One sitting just there, and one just above it. So a clear one, and like a dark brown amber bottle. Quite a long neck. Right, I'll see if I can get these out, guys. Bear with me. Well, there you go. That's what they were. Two, uh, two plain as day bottles. One amber, one clear. Look like they were made in the same factory though. But uh, yeah, there you go. Oh well, on to the next.
Right, I don't know if you can see that there. That one's got the glass stopper in. I'm going to say that's a good haul and back house Yorkshire sauce or Yorkshire relish. But I've also got one here as well. Oh, now that's another. I can see it there. Good haul and back house. Bloody things are everywhere. All right, back in a bit. And there you go. Two good all and back house Yorkshire relish. Isn't that bloody typical? You come all the way to Scotland to dig stuff from Yorkshire. There you go. Right, back in a bit. Starting to rain a wee bit now as well. But we'll carry on. Norma's over there digging away. Bigfoot digger. Check out his channel. Really nice guy. But we'll crack on. All right. Back in a bit. Well, I'm just about to move this big rock. It looks like there's a stone right at the side of that. So, uh, let me get it out. <laughs> so, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, I've just pulled it out, the stoneware, and look. You're not going to believe this, guys. Oh, <laughs> see that green top at, up there? I know what that is straight away. That is a J or Comrie ginger beer. Here we go. Oh, you little beauty. Oh, I have just hit one of my dreams there. I've seen these online. Oh, right, I'm not going to do anything more to that now. Pre please replace screw stopper when empty. Oh, yes. <laughs> right, I've just got to show, uh, show the Bigfoot digger this. He got one of these uh, only yesterday. Oh, that is awesome. There we go, and after that, uh, absolutely beautiful J.O. Comrie stone ginger beer. Looks like we've got a nice uh, stoneware pot. Let me get this out. Oh, there we go, happy days. That's a nice little thing. Salt glazed top. Oh, that's lovely. I'll not argue with that. Bit of rusty stuff on there. I'll not pick away at that just now. I'll get that cleaned up at home. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that nice? Stoneware pot. I'll get it cleaned out inside and uh, we'll have a look at home. Yeah, we're doing alright at the minute. Alright, back soon. Well, there's another big stoneware. I'll get this one out and we'll have a look at this one. I suspect it might be a bit plain, this one. But we'll see. So the other one was just there. Literally five, six inches away from it. Right, back shortly. Well, there you go. That's it right there. Another big jar. Plain. Just a little bit of band decoration at the top there, but uh, and I can't see any maker's stamp on it, but uh, oh, it looks like there's a bit of a crack down it as well. Oh, hey ho! Yeah, we're we're doing all right at the minute. Well, what did I just pull out of here? Oh, it's a Vox. That's a wee Vox uh, beer. Oh, I thought that was a Sea Vox and Sons. Trademark. Something written on the back as well. Sunderland. Well, how are It's a wee bit far from home. Well, that's a beauty. Little dumpy green uh, beer bottle by the looks of it. Big bubble in front as well. Beauty. Now we're on it now. Well, I've just hit that bottle there, guys. Boys and girls. And there's another base of a stoneware right there. Oh, I'm so hoping that's... So yeah, as I was saying, my batteries, sorry, I just had to change my batteries there. Bottle there, stoneware there. Right, hang tight, let me see what I can do with these. Well, there we go, that was the uh, that was the stoneware that I saw. I thought that was another going to be another uh, Jar Comrie. I was hoping and praying, but it wasn't. Uh, it's one of those uh, little inks. And the bottle that was next to it 
This is GMP Barry, Glasgow and Dundee. That's nice enough. Internal screw stopper. But yeah, yeah. I'll not say no to them. All right, back soon. Well, the sun is out and shining away at the minute. It's roasting hot. This is the next one. It's full of water. Small. It's embossed on the other side because I can feel it underneath. Let me see if I can get it get this out in one piece. Well, there we go. It's out. <coughs> Let me get into a little bit of shade here because that, uh, that sunlight is killing us. It's Glasgow. Chemists. Oh, who is this? Brown Brothers. Brown Brothers Chemists, Glasgow. Well, that's a nice thing. It's, uh, it's a blob top as well. It's not an internal screw. That would have had a cork in it. There's a slight chip in there. Yeah, I'll live with that. Well, that's nice. Now well, we're getting some nice stuff today. Good day. I think uh, I think the Bigfoot diggers brought us some luck today. Yeah, well, we'll carry on. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to go on for today, boys and girls. Uh, that looks like an old uh, potty. That's what they used to put on the slide under their beds and uh, pee in during the night. But there's another bottle, and it's embossed, and I've just clouted it. And it's Glasgow's AG Bar. Let's find out. Yep, I was right. A big old AG Bar & Co. of Glasgow. And I've got one of these already, so uh, that's not one I'm going to take, I don't think. Alright, onwards and downwards. Well, boys and girls, I kid you not, here we go again. Oh, oh God, I hope this is in one piece. Two of these in one day is going to just fucking... I pardon my French, sorry, I shouldn't swear, I know. Oh my god. Right. Hang tight. Right. <laughs> Please. This is on its way now. So let's just see if we can extrapolate it. Ah. Oh, I know you shouldn't do this, but. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a variation. Oh, yes. Oh, you absolute! Oh, it's an AG bars. You absolute beauty. Oh, get in. Oh, oh man, it's near perfect. Oh, AG bars, stone ginger beer. Oh, that is just. Oh. <laughs> Oh yes, you beauty, two in one day. Oh. Oh. I've got a speechless, right? Well, boys and girls, there's another find. And well, that's uh, now I found bits of these before. These are acid etched bottles. You see that? I found a full one, finally. Mare and Dougal of Glasgow, acid etched. Now, ain't that lovely? Huh? It's probably not rare, but hey, might not be rare, but I don't care. Look at that now then, huh? Oh, we're having some day here, boys and girls. Right, back soon. Well, let me just turn the light on here because it's getting a wee bit dark. There we go. There's the next one. Let's see if it's playing off. It's embossed. Is there anything on that? Oh, I think it might be. Alright, let me get it out. Just got another one of those uh, stoneware Needham's uh, polishing paste. Uh, but it's got a big chip out the side there, so it's not one for us today. And 
the bottle was broken, which is a shame because it, uh, yeah, it's a Dumbarton bottle, is that? With an elephant uh, on the front. I can't remember what that one is. I'm sure somebody will tell me. <sighs> you know, it's getting close to end of day, boys and girls, and uh, I'm absolutely knackered. It's been a good day, though. All right, we'll crack on for a wee while longer, and uh, I'll come back to you. Well, I don't think this is a ginger beer. I'll be amazed if it is. Uh, right, let me get it out. I, as I got to it, I realised it was too big for a ginger beer. It's just another big stoneware jar. Still, a good piece. Hang on to that. Well, that's me done for today. Um, treasure hunt in Scotland. Mark's just turned up there, but uh, it's absolutely pouring down now. It's been a glorious day all day, and I've had some amazing finds. Uh, hang tight, boys and girls, and I'll uh, I'll get the best bits uh, cleaned up at home, and we'll have a look at them in a, in a little bit more detail. All right, see you soon. Well, uh, I'm back home, uh, boys and girls, and that was a. Uh, <clears throat> somewhat of a stormer of a day <clears throat> glad to have uh, got out there and uh, managed to get out what I did so we'll go through it um, so let me put the camera on close up here so we can have a closer look bear with me one moment so that's uh, one of those stoneware uh, uh, containers that I got uh, probably an ink container I would imagine um, there is an impression in there. I can't quite make that out. Anyway, it's one of the manufacturers. Um, so yeah, that's nice enough. Uh, next we've got the GMP Barry. With Britannia on there. There's Britannia trademark. Glasgow and Dundee. Uh, internal screw stop bottle. That's nice. A bit more cleaning up to do on this. There's a fair bit of uh, rust on uh, on this one as well, so I've got a bit of scrubbing to do. Um, but that should come up nice enough. A few bubbles in the glass there. And <clears throat> the uh, the James Horn and Co. with the uh, the bull's horns on there as the trademark. Uh, established 1887. South Yorkshire and Glasgow. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, this is the little uh, chemist bottle I got. Brown Brothers Chemists of Glasgow. So that's nice. It's actually a blob top, is that one? It's not an internal. I, I thought it might have been an internal screw thread, but it's not. It's earlier than that. So that would have been corked. So I'd imagine that's. Uh, that would have had uh, aerated water in it. So that's nice. <clears throat> and then we've got the uh, the Mare and Dougal Glasgow acid etch bottle. Um, what I didn't notice at the time is that there's a bit of a, a chip out of the rim there, which is a shame, but uh, as it sits, it will sit like that. So yeah, that's nice enough. Found a few broken ones of those. This is the, well, almost first. Uh, complete one I've found so get an idea of the colour there green and <clears throat> the uh, Seavox and Sons trademark so that's, uh, that's a nice one uh, again bit of a chip out of the base of that one but that sits around the back and it's uh, embossed on the back Sunderland as well so uh, bear with me one moment uh, somebody's chattering away outside so uh, yeah just shut the window there um, I got a couple of these little bovrels um, once they're cleaned up they come up quite a nice colour actually um, so uh, so yeah that's worn uh, this, this other one's a little bit uh, what they call sick uh, which is to do with uh, like a mineral mineralization in the ground. Um, again, you see that on uh, 
on some of these bottles again I'll show you that uh, on this one and it's to do with the, the bottle being in the ground for so long and uh, different mineral minerals have different effects on the glass <clears throat> uh, that small uh, small bottle again a little bit more cleaning to do inside that I'm going to soak these um, no idea what that would have held but uh, it's pretty enough <clears throat> and then what have we got uh, two marbles clay marbles so they're nice and i got a couple of these uh, a couple of these little uh, you can see it better now needham's polishing paste pickering and sons limited of sheffield so i've got two of those <clears throat> there's that one there's the other one there again same so it's uh, been quite popular as that, uh, that polishing paste what they were polishing I don't know but uh, um, I don't know if I showed you this at the time it's a it's a stopper from a uh, from a bed warmer uh, unfortunately the bed warmer was uh, was in about uh, eight or ten pieces all broken up but I managed to save the uh, managed to save the stopper which is a stoneware which is nice um, Again, a lot of the times they're either the stopper's either broken or the bottle's broken, so it's one of the two. So <clears throat> the uh, the large salt glazed uh, bulk ink bottle, uh, a little manufacturing uh, mark there. Error. Uh, there's no stamp on it, so it's a generic piece. Um, I just think, think a lot of companies were making these back in the day <clears throat> to the same design. Uh, one of the big stoneware jars I left the other one because it had a big crack down the side of it uh, and again this one needs a bit more uh, cleaning to get this rusty stuff off as best I can anyway <clears throat> and then we've got the uh, this uh, stoneware pot which is really nice it's uh, as you can see that it's 20 ounce and it's from the Grosvenor pottery in Glasgow which is really nice so that's a nice piece not had one of those before and then the two heartbreakers so this is the uh, the heather dew whiskey jar um, if you look at uh, bigfoot diggers video who was there um, one of his earlier videos he gets one of these um, whiskey jugs complete that was in the early days when we were digging this tip um, so if, uh, if you want to nip over and have a look at his videos you'll see a complete one of these um, still I'm going to keep hold of that for the moment and uh, maybe see if I can uh, pass it on sell it on somewhere maybe eBay or something like that so keep your eyes peeled there and the other heartbreaker <coughs> is the Ivanhoe old scotch whiskey jug which had the neck broken off only a small neck on this one uh, from the picture that I've seen online but uh, but no, again, it's uh, it's still a very, very nice thing to have. Um, again, I don't know what I'll do with this. I might, uh, I might pass it on through eBay. We'll see. Uh, there is a, a stamp on here. I'm meant to, uh, meant to have a look. And it is Port Dundas. Uh, you guys maybe can't read that, but I can just. So it's the Port Dundas pottery in Glasgow. So, uh, so yeah, so that was uh, that was one of the early heartbreaks when I was on this dig, and then uh, the two final pieces <clears throat> in order that I got them: the uh, J O Comrie Springbank Glasgow Ginger Beer. You can see at the top there it says, "Please replace screw stopper when empty." Uh, unfortunately, on this one they didn't. <laughs> so uh, I'll have to uh, keep my eyes open for a stopper and at the bottom there it says uh, this bottle uh, being my exclusive property and registered under the Trademarks Act anyone filling or vending it is liable to prosecution so uh, yeah again some uh, some more of this rust uh, from the dump that's uh, that's on this bottle so I've got to be really careful when I'm cleaning it when I'm sorting this one out and again it is uh, it is stamped and it's the Port Dundas stamp that's on there um, they were quite a prolific uh, 
manufacturer of stonewares here in Glasgow. And then the other one, the uh, the second one I pulled out of the AG Bars, Stone Ginger Beer. This bottle is the property of AG Bar & Co, Glasgow. <clears throat> Please replace stopper when empty. And again, they didn't, but I've got loads of different bars, stoppers, so I can put one of those in there and complete that. And that is pretty awesome. <clears throat> so uh, no, uh, no maker's mark stamped on that one, unfortunately. But uh, I guess I would probably imagine it is maybe the Port Dundas. But uh, but yeah, there you go. So that's uh, that's everything I got on that dig. So uh, so yeah, there we go, guys. That's everything. And uh, uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, taking the time to leave a comment or a thumbs up or or even a thumbs down if that's your thing. Um, but uh, but yeah, there we go. I'll see you next time. And hopefully, we'll get out there for another dig. Bye for now.